Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with uh, Tina Drolle, a mezzo-soprano from Slovenia. Hello. Hello. We speak during the uh, contest of art songs of Lieder. And uh, how do you feel after your performance? I feel very calm and happy that it went well. So, yeah. Why did you choose to participate in the art song context? Because not everybody wants to sing this type of, uh, of songs. I adore art songs. I think it's a, a different kind of singing, mm -hmm. um, more personal, uh, so uh, lots of colors mm -hmm. and uh, also um, you can connect more to people, I have mm -hmm. the feeling, because it's like storytelling. Mm -hmm. yeah. And why Richard Strauss? So I study art songs in Munich and I sang them there and I fell in love with Strauss. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought, oh, it's a good option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> now let's go back to yesterday, to the second stage. Mm -hmm. uh, many different things uh, to sing. And which was your favorite from the second stage? Um, I would say Di Lorelei uh, mm -hmm. from Franz Liszt. Why this one? Because it's um, such a nice ballad, it has many characters, and um, yeah, uh, it's just a beautiful song. And can you tell us something about the modern piece? Because you always have to sing something modern in the second stage, and the title of your piece is very interesting. Ode to uh, Ode, uh, Ode, Ode and Twitter. Yes. So yeah. is it Ode to Twitter, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's so right. who wrote it, and what is it about? So, so actually, I found this song in the in, on YouTube, mm -hmm. and I thought, what? This is so funny. I I want to sing it. And uh, the composer is from Munich, where mm -hmm. I'm studying, and I found the score in the library so I just copied it and mm -hmm. I, I thought one day I will sing it and this was a great <laughs> opportunity to do it and I love it because it's like super funny it's uh -huh. like it's talking about like um, that there should be a, how do you say that like um, there should be only 140 notes yes in yes. a song uh -huh. so then the compo composer would have a lot lots of time to do other things okay okay and actually <laughs> i was so uh, like curious uh -huh. and i was um, I counted the okay. notes, oh, yeah, yeah. and it's really 140 ah, notes, really? so yeah. yeah, so it's true. <laughs> so it's very, very funny, and of yeah. course in the second stage it's always a Polish piece, yeah. usually sung in Pol Polish. Mm -hmm. How do you feel in Polish language? Oh, I love the language, mm -hmm. and I hope I will sing some more. Mm -hmm. um, it's very difficult for me, um, but... Um, I gave my best, yeah. Uh, and what is so difficult in uh, singing in Polish? So I would say that, so in Slovenian language, we mm -hmm. don't have the soft and the, the hard uh -huh. vowels, like sh mm -hmm. and sh. Yeah. We just have sh, it's something in between. So those differences and also the nasal mm -hmm. sounds mm -hmm. that we don't have, this is, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about Muniuszka? Is uh, Does uh, he make this language easier to sing or not? Um, I don't know because I didn't sing other songs, so ah, okay, I can't okay. say. Yeah. But you, I know from the back, backstage that you like Polish folk music, Yeah, right? a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how come you, you know that music? So my friend was studying uh, Polish language mm -hmm. and she introduced me to some uh, groups and mm -hmm. then I started to listen to it and it's so full of energy and um, so uh, yeah I just fell in love and uh, there was a time where I listened to this Polish group every day. <laughs> oh, that's very interesting. Very interesting. So yeah. you somehow know the Polish language. Uh, yeah, a yeah. bit. There is also a Slovenian um, director uh -huh. who directed some movies mm -hmm. that were very famous in Slovenia. So I watched some movies as well. Do you remember his name? Um, Mitya Okorn. Ah, oh yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> and romantic. He does romantic comedies yes, in Poland. Yes, right. yes. <laughs> and uh, you said that uh, your favorite piece from yesterday was the one by Liszt mm -hmm. and today you sang Strauss so it's German mm -hmm. and you study in German so yeah. how do you like German language is it easy for you to sing yeah at the moment it's easier than it was mm -hmm. because I, I live in Germany or in German speaking mm -hmm. area for 10 years now so I feel already much more comfortable with the language yeah mm -hmm. if we meet in the final 
yeah. uh, stage of the competition. Uh, both songs are in uh, Italian. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is the mother tongue of opera. Yeah. Do you like singing in Italian? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you have a favorite composer of all the you know classical opera composers? No, I can't decide for one. Uh -huh. I have many. I, mm -hmm. I can say a few, but uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mozart, I love Mozart. I love Verdi. I love... Um, Bizet, I love um, Brahms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't decide really. <laughs> okay, so thank you yeah. very much. And thank you. Good luck. Thank you.